Cap, as a YouTube Cap, and here back with some more of the City of Final Fantasy content. Uh, this time, we're gonna go and uh, talk about the Ultimate Brother Trials that's coming to Global in about the next two hours or so. Um, a friend of mine, Broadway, um, 40, couldn't um, send out the video today just due to some uh, technical issues on his end. Uh, so I offered to go ahead and make the video in his stage just for this time around. Because uh, I know that's usually his thing to do. Um, so we're going to talk about brothers today. Uh, apparently, um, it's going to be fun. Let's just say it's going to be fun in a sarcastic sense. We're dealing with brothers today in the sense that um, for farming-wise, they are probably some of the most tedious things to deal with since uh, Shiva first debuted. Mainly for the fact that the brothers start off as two enemies, and then they come, and then at their certain point, and they combine into one creature. Uh, what essentially happens at that point is what essentially happens at that point is that they have an extremely fast um, ex, uh, ex extremely fast regas gauge, and when they first debuted it in the Japan, in the Japanese version, um, it essentially caused a lot of commotion within the community simply because you need a dispeller or somebody like Balthier to go ahead and get rid of the buff because even for the level 100 grinding stage to get the materials and all the treasure nodes for everybody, even the level 100 EX stage actually is a pain in the ass to go ahead and try to farm if you have no effective way of getting rid of the buff. So, I don't know offhand what the, what the, um, I'll have my head what the, what the buff actually is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just pause the video to get the information that I need, and I will be back. And we're back. Um... So, after some digging around and asking around the community, uh, it does look like the brothers are immune to target lock and turn delay. So you wouldn't be able to use somebody like Warrior of Light uh, in this type of situation. You wouldn't be able to use Quistis. Uh, you wouldn't be able to use... You could still delay them via breaking and, thing and shenanigans such as like Vayne. But people like, uh, char characters like Quistis and Amethysaur wouldn't be able to go ahead and get those Tumblades off to grind them out. At least for the Chaos version of this fight. And as much as I would love to show off the Chaos fight right now, um, I unfortunately do not have the time to do so. Simply due to the temperature of being in work and doing this during break. Um, just taking some time to, to do this for all of you. Um, actually, you know what? Let's try it. Let's just try and get this done. Uh, we're gonna bring in Galoof, Arden. I want to bring in people that we already have in terms of the in terms of the cast, but I don't have a very big roster built up since I had this for not too long. Um, so I'm just gonna go with what I have. Uh, you guys gonna get some nice footage off of the loop we can do in the future. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and bring in uh, Fujin for this as well, for her Wind and Peril, um, and for her Break Battery as well. And I could probably bring in... Mm, you know what? Let's just do this. Lena, Arden, and Galoof. Um, I do need somebody to dispel those buffs, which I unfortunately have no, no way to dispel them. So, actually, yes, I do. This is gonna be a cheeky. This is gonna be a cheeky composition with Arciella and Fujin. Arciella is a future character to come out in the, in, the, in um, a couple months within the global time frame. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use um, just. Let's not use a friend for this. We're gonna do. We're gonna do this the old-fashioned way. Um, we're just gonna get this done ASAP, mainly because one, I gotta get back to work. Two, this is a quick showcase of, of the Brothers Chaos fight itself. Uh, as you can see, they sent off as two, and we're about to go straight into this. Uh, we're gonna start off with uh, with this 
HP silence um, attack. And I'm just going to switch into it. And then Paris is now on. I'm gonna go ahead and cover Fujin. I'm gonna go to the Blade Lock. Alright. Now, let's go ahead and get this done. With the wooden pack. Oh, I wonder why she's doing this damage because it, despite being resisted, it is simply the fact that uh, uh, this is the entire uh, quality of life update that JP got from time of uh, We will be getting this at some point during the global version. Uh, potentially during the gold as last chapter, if I'm not mistaken. But it is mainly for the fact to go ahead and just showcase uh, what we're going to do in the future. Uh, as well as to show off the brothers, like, and um, so the link off there, so it's not really like going on. Um, that's not the scariest part of the fight, though. Truth be told, the scarier part comes out when you guys are moved into one, and that's when you end up, um, shaving off half of one of the HP values. I would recommend, uh, going straight after the little guy. Simply due to the fact that he has less HP and getting him down to half is much easier. Alright, there we go, we dispel. This is, that's what RCL mainly does. She's just dispeller slash um, HP center. She's a very strong offensive support unit. Oh, hey. See, now they combine into one after we put them into a half. As you can see, this is going to be a very big problem. Um, I'm going to let them do their HP attack only because it's for the purpose of the show. If it were up to me and I was doing this for real, I absolutely would not let that happen. I'm going to get everybody's wave up. This is a constant thing to do, but with that part of this video, you can see how quickly um, you're going to lose little um, time. You don't really do anything despite not being magical or even in peril. So it is uh, it's just, you definitely want to bring a dispeller or even box to this. Simply again, due to the fact that you can take this buff away. It's going to save you so many problems during this buff, I guarantee it. I did not have that during the time when I first created this in JP, and I understand it now. It was a pain in the ass. Do I be ready? Not really. But it was fun. And I'm not doing it with a first character either, just because I personally just wanted to get that done. Um. This is only before the burst era, so I definitely don't want to bring anybody with the burst or LED weapon to this thing. And as you can see, the loop gets very strong with this battle. It's insane how how powerful he gets. Once he gets his rework and his EX pump, it's whew, it's to die for. And this is during the and this is during the um. And this is doing also the, uh, the whole, um, that's doing the whole, like, Leo Law Shark, I believe that's like a chapter 8, yeah, Law Chapter 8, um, chapter, um, uh, Arc 2, chapter 8, um, which we should be receiving around April, assuming everything goes well. I think the global first actually doesn't um, go ahead and push that back again. 
because usually the, the, the chapters for, for story mode come out middle in the month, so this could either push it back to the later end of April or even potentially, um, or not necessarily, potentially, like, um, even beginning of May, which I wouldn't mind as an early birthday, as an early birthday gift for myself. Oh man, but yeah, you can see that these guys are, are essentially, um, doing what they do best, being normal. Let's go ahead and erase those deep ones and erase those buffs. Fujin, you're getting to suffer. You're getting to suffer a little bit. Those bugs are actually the most annoying thing about this fight. It makes them way it makes them way more difficult to deal with than they should be. saying that now this fight looks way easier than it should be simply due to this well we're, um, we're using we're using just for a showcase of the fight but you can see even with even with these amped up characters that these guys are how can I put it um annoying Personally speaking, I cannot wait for Galoot to get his EFF in Global. That's going to be amazing to have. I kind of like this team simply for the fact that the regens are really nice and the 
the party is uh, constantly uh, battling itself. And Blue has 100% physical adventure rate, which is just amazing. While his ES will actually give 60% evasion to every other attack, so he can pretty much dodge most magical attacks, especially when his buff being when his evasion buff being 10% uh, increased. Uh, Buffy, Buffy does, so that becomes a nice, a nice, a nice 70%. Oh, right, I forgot. I said this earlier that you can't delay them, and I'm still trying to delay them. <laughs> Go figure. That feeling, where you, that feeling where you don't take your own advice. Yeah, don't do what I do, kids. And... I still like you. I just saved my life here. Alright, you're not gonna kill that one shot. I'm sorry about those um, text messages, but it's just gonna be right to do you. Uh, I'm just being raided. I play tennis my free time. Um, how close are we getting this time? Yeah, we should be good. Unfortunately, I have no more of those uh, the spells, so I have to go now with the secondary option, which is HP Silencer. I believe we're done with the fight. Yes, we are. And that's the showcase, guys. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully the information is at least sustain sustainable for all of us. Um, and from there... Uh, and from there, yeah. Hopefully everything is okay on, the, on that end. You guys have a good day, and good luck running those boards. Peace.